Hey, this is Kurt, and I've got Owen with me today, and we're going from Cincinnati to West Virginia to pick up a Mercury water mouse. It's a ten and a half foot plastic speedboat. It looks like a mini power boat, and it's got a 15 horsepower outboard on it. So it should be pretty fun. It's a three hour trip to get there. Here's the map. So we'll do an update when we arrive. Alright, this is Kurt and Owen again reporting in from uh, West Virginia. Nope, we already crossed the bridge. We're back into Ohio. We crossed the Ohio River a minute ago, right? So we've got the mock water mouse back there. You can see it in the back window. And uh, there it is. Alright, we'll give you another update when we get home in uh, three hours. All right, we stopped in the McDonald's parking lot here. The trailer is towing really great on the way home. The wheel bearings and tires are all in good shape and it tows real smooth. One funny thing is it's got a really long trailer tongue, uh, but I guess you won't have to get your tow vehicle wet when you back it in because the trailer tongue is like seven or eight feet long. I guess we could, get a, we could either cut it down or get a hinge to put on there so it folds backwards when it's parked in the garage. So here's, here's a quick tour of the boat. It's got two seats and a throttle and a steering wheel and a grab handle. And that's pretty much it. It does have a sweet little radar arch on the back. Found out that the outboard is a 9.9, .9, not a 15, but that's okay. Needs a little paint job on the cowling, but that'll be easy. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go get some McDonald's and then we're heading home. Alright, we got home with the Mercury Water Mouse uh, last night. Put it in the garage here and I spent just a little bit of time working on it last night and a little bit today. First thing I did was remove some of the original Mercury decals that were here because they were so peeled off that it wasn't even worth keeping them because they just looked terrible. And then I also uh, used some paint thinner to get off all the decals that were on the cowling. Uh, paint thinner and some goof off. And then I put two fresh coats of spray paint on the cowling and it looks way better now. That only took, uh, not including the time to paint the, for the paint to dry, it only took uh, about a half hour to clean the motor. And then, you know, two coats of paint only took a few minutes each. And I got some. It's no longer 9.9 .9 horsepower. It's uh, 300 horsepower now, so that'll it makes it look faster and probably run faster. And then the other thing, got some. Uh, got rid of the old registration numbers and wiped all the glue off. They put them in the wrong spot anyway. They're not supposed to be back here in the middle. They're supposed to be up here underneath the front of the boat on the hull. So put those on today. Got it registered. Next thing is we're going to get a new hook for this winch line because it looks terrible. This is not how a winch line is supposed to be. And they just tied it on here. You're not supposed to tie it on there. You're supposed to use a hook. That's about it.